Storm Alert Nation. I'm your host, Sornuda. Let's get right into the news. And in our first story, Joey Salads was not only duking it out with our favorite Soviet prankster yesterday at the gym, he was also doing some very intense YouTube research that led to a very startling discovery. So, for whatever reason it may be, Joseph here is looking for Logan Paul vlogs, but he seems to find something a little different. Roll it. Yo, check this. Open up an incognito tab. I search Logan Paul, and the first things you get are TMZ, Game Theorist. Then you get Logan Paul's vlogs. Here's his, his, his only video. It, you search his name, and you're not even getting his videos. He's got one video on, so far it looks like, the first 30 results. So, to summarize what he just said, YouTube is doing what's called shadow banning to Logan Paul vlogs. Shadow banning is a process where a social media site will exclude a content creator's content due to them royally fucking up. They actually do it for a number of reasons, whether they don't like the person's content or the agenda they're pushing, but I can only imagine why they're doing it to Logan Paul vlogs. Uh, also in the news, we are going from Low Gang to Gucci Gang. That's right, Lil Pump is in the news today. After being able to successfully drop his contract with Warner Music Group due to the fact that he signed when he was 16, therefore voiding all legalities of the contract. See, when you're a minor, you actually can't sign a contract without going through a court for validation. So with that being the case, Pump is able to walk away scot-free, which means he's walking into a number of huge offers from major labels. And when you're as successful as Lil Pump, people like Gucci Mane will want to sign you. And much like Priceline, Gucci Mane gave Pump a pick your own price option if he signs to Gucci's label 1017. And it's estimated that Pump, who is only 17, may I remind you, will be walking into a deal that's potentially worth eight to 12 million dollars. Now, let me talk to you guys for a second really quick. There's a guy out there screaming Gucci gang into a microphone, making seven to eight figures off of a singular record deal. <laughs> First off, God bless you, Lil Pump, and second off, kids, chase your dreams. Literally anything is possible. Also in the news, if you love memes, then you love Johnny D. He's this elderly man who just loves to sing songs and then proceeds to upload them to YouTube. Now, this guy's channel skyrocketed over the past month, gaining over 100,000 subscribers in a 28-day period, meaning he's gaining over 3,000 new subs a day. And that was up until this man's voice was cut short due to his channel being terminated. Now, I refuse to let this man's dream die so here's some footage of him singing a song called light my fire roll it vocals of an absolute saint. Honestly, God bless you, Johnny. And in today's biggest story, YouTube has finally updated its partner program following the Logan Paul story. So not only did Trusted Flagger tweet out that 85 to 90% of partners will be getting kicked from the program, but YouTube's creator Insider uploaded this video where they highlight some key points from the update. Roll it. Hello Insiders, this week we made some announcements about the YouTube Partner Program, linked to the blog post below. So um, obviously 2017 was a tough year for YouTube advertising and how we kind of monetize videos. Um, but what's most important is that for 2018, we really wanna uh, take a new approach to monetization. And the main difference uh, for 18 will be in order to join YouTube Partner Program, we'll now need at least a thousand subs and 4,000 hours of watch time in the last year. Okay, so let me elaborate on this really quick. What he just said equates to about 80,000 views per year and a minimum of 1,000 subscribers. And if you're an actual YouTuber planning to make this your job, that is not a hard goal at all. Now, Reddit, for some reason, was particularly angry at this update, but was met from a high appraisal from YouTubers worldwide, including Keemstar and PewDiePie, where they said this on Twitter. If you can't get 1,000 subs and 4,000 hours of watch time in a year, then do you really believe you should make money from YouTube? I see so many people upset, but let's be real. If YouTube is your job and you expect to be paid, but can't get 1,000 subs, you suck at your job. PewDiePie responds with, 
as annoying as it is that this is YouTube's response to the Logan Paul thing, or at least it seems like it, I'm with you. It shouldn't be an issue not to monetize before you hit these numbers. Pretty much anyone can come on YouTube and make money from it now, whereas it used to be a very exclusive group of people. And to be absolutely honest with you, I agree with Keemstar and PewDiePie. This update makes it incredibly hard for spam and stolen content channels to thrive. It also ups the pay and the discoverability of your favorite content creators and the creators making the most impact on the platform. And if you're fighting this update, then there's a pretty good chance that you are a part of the problem that's causing it. And if you have any questions or concerns about the update, Susan Watch Kiki and Sundar Pichar are doing a town hall Q&A this Friday. And if you want your question seen, be sure to voice your concern using hashtag MSNBCRecode in your tweet. Also in the news, earlier today, YouTube singer Chrissy Chambers won a court case against her ex in a revenge porn scandal. Stating here in this article that she received a substantial sum for the court case and that he would have to pay her legal fees. Now, revenge porn, very obvious name. It's when an ex releases a tape or pictures of you after the matter of fact that you've broken up. And winning a case like this is exactly what we here at Drama Alert like to see, Chrissy. Phenomenal job. Also in the news, the Senate has 50 votes to repeal the FCC's ruling on net neutrality. You remember that thing your favorite content creators were talking about and now everyone's getting affected by it because we told you that you should have cared more? Yeah, well, the Senate's got your back and they need one more Republican vote so they can send it off to the House of Congress. Now, this is still a long road ahead because not only would the House have to sign this bill, but it would also have to be signed by the President himself. But still, moves are being made over at the Senate, boys. Keep it up exactly what we like to see. Also in the news, Jake Paul was nominated for Shorty Award YouTuber of the Year. Now, as shocking as that was to me, that apparently is not the news. Because apparently in an even funnier turn of events, Logan was not nominated at all. Even though in Every single category, Logan's numbers trumped Jake's. And in a lighthearted, very serious, more fun topic. So I thought we'd end off in a bang today. So if you guys remember a few days ago where they had that ballistics missile threat in Hawaii and it turned out to be a hoax. Yeah, it had all the local residents fearing their lives, but it turned out that the US government had just made a mistake clearing up the confusion in about 45 minutes. Now, while that's newsworthy, what really piqued my interest was the fact that Pornhub saw a massive, almost 50% increase right after the government called off that it was a hoax. And I think the most impressive part about it all was the fact that it was only 9.01 in the morning. But I can't blame you boys from Hawaii because to be brutally honest with you, I would have been doing the same thing. Anyway, that's all the news we have for you today here at Drama Alert. If you're new, drop a like, drop a sub, and turn on post notifications. If you enjoyed me, my name's Nuda. My links are down in the description. Drama Alert Nation, now at exactly 3,373,373 subscribers.